Despite all the recent changes in the in the country politically and, and security wise, MSF has managed to maintain all of our medical activities in those five hospitals around the country. First of all, I can only speak really about what we witness in our MSF projects. So, and it does vary. Um, in Lashkaga, uh, since the end of the conflict, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we're really observing that the Boost Hospital is completely overwhelmed <coughs> with patients and that's because all of the other health facilities are no longer functioning. So this is putting quite a big burden on our team in Lashkaga at the moment, but again it underlines the importance of the fact that we are still present and the hospital is still open. In Kunduz, on the other hand, uh, because there are no more conflict activities, we're seeing a change in the type of patients we receive. So it's no longer just um, violent trauma cases that we receive, we are also receiving accidental trauma cases. So, for example, people who have suffered a road traffic accident. In Host, it's a bit different again. Um, Although we have opened up our admission criteria and we accept any mother presenting, uh, we are observing that we have a slight decrease overall in the numbers of mothers coming for delivery at the hospital and through our contacts with the primary healthcare centres in the districts, we are hearing the same thing. So we can only guess that this is because people are still a little bit hesitant to travel around. Has the health system managed to meet the, the needs of the Afghan people in terms of medical care? Um, I would say no, it is seriously underfunded, which therefore means there is not enough funding uh, to pay enough staff uh, to provide enough medical equipment and medications and supplies to actually match the numbers of the population. Will MSF continue? Of course we will. We have absolutely no intention to leave the country.